Today we're going to determine the soil texture of a soil sample using the sedimentation method. Now previous to this I would have done soil, soil texture using the hand testing method and the soil sieve method and this is a more quantitative, it gives you more quantitative results. Um, so what you need for this experiment is you need your soil sample. This is the sample that I've been using for the previous two experiments. You need a pestle and mortar, you need uh, a graduated cylinder and you also need a soil, a soil sieve. Okay, so what I did was um, I dried out my soil sample in the oven um, at about 105 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. I ground it down in my pestle and mortar and then I put it into my um, into the largest tray in the soil sieve and what I'm trying to do here is trying to remove any particles that are greater than two millimeters so it'll just give me sand silt and clay so I'm just going to take you for a wee look inside the top layer so there's nothing left in here and I'm just going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each tray and I had the sand already done. And you can see in here in clay, or silt, sorry. I'm just gonna tip this out onto my sheet. You can see it here. And then my clay at the bottom. Why I do this is because I want to make sure I have a large enough sample to fit into my graduated cylinder. I'm just going to pour it into the graduated cylinder. It's nice and dry, nice and slowly. So as you can see there, my sample is just about up to the 20 mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sample back out again and I'm going to put about 60 mils of water in, probably about 50, I'll go up to the 50 mark. And the reason I don't put the water in after the soil sample is because the soil sample will cake at the bottom and you won't get it moved. Just putting it in, trying not to touch the sides. And then I'm gonna wash down the sides. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna invert it a couple of times. And what that means is, hopefully the larger, heavier particles of sand will sit at the bottom. And then silt, which is the next heaviest, will sit at the top and the clay then will be at the very top. So what I'm trying to do now is just wash down the sides. And then I'm going to leave it overnight, so just up to the 100 mark. And as you can see, at the minute, um, it's just up to the 100 mark. And I'm going to leave it overnight and let that settle. And then I'm going to read my results.